On Friday, a group of youth were invited to the launch of the National Youth Policy at Serena Conference Center, Tan Raudi. The group gave a number of reasons that sparked off their protest. One of them was the president's absence at the event. We are called upon His Excellency the President, please, come and address the youth issues. The tenders of sending the, 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 Mr. Chive Gingers of this world, it is long ago. How can you use all the money to print all these books? And you are telling us the word policy, you don't even understand it? What is policy? Some of the youth say the Friday chaos points out to a much bigger problem within the agencies that are supposed to represent them. To them, it should serve as a signal to the president. There are youth voices in the wilderness that need to be listened to. And they, don't, they, don't, they are not looking at Mugati, no. They are looking at programs that will work for the youth and how the youth can liberate themselves from the unemployment scourge and from poverty. Akampa Rugaba is a member of the Youth Advocacy Foundation Uganda. He told NTV that many youth issues have been neglected. In most cases, most of the programs that are to do with the youth, they are stage managed. Most of the launches like the National Youth Policy, it was more of uh, let's have youth who are there, let's mobilize youth, but not looking at who are the people going to popularize this, uh, the, uh, this National Youth Policy. He also highlighted out the loopholes in the youth policy whose launch ended prematurely. If the youth do not appreciate uh, their role, it means they cannot embrace it and it cannot be popularized amongst other youth because they are not represented. So certainly the process of compiling the youth policy was transparent and adhered to the, was compliant with the regulations of the constitution. But only that it's a dynamic period which keeps on changing. There have been allegations of false accountability in the Youth Livelihood Program, which prompted the IGG to carry out investigations into the embezzlement claims. The government program is meant to address the high unemployment and poverty among the youth. And some of us, we feel, we feel it is a hoax. Some of this money is not there, because even some of the money that has been accessed, is, 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 it's a collusion. It's a collusion between the uh, community development officers or even the town clerk that the money they create ghost groups. Uh, the Youth Livelihood Program is a good program and we are going to build on it in terms of uh, organizing the groups into cooperatives. You know, you, you, although you, you produce separately, but you market together so that you can take advantage of the nitty gritties that affect you as an individual. Akampa Rugaba says that they warned the officials about anomalies in the disbursement of the money and gave recommendations. Now, they want the entire project halted and the implicated officials investigated. Uh, we are already collecting signatures. We are going to send this uh, to, the, um, to the Auditor General to look through the Youth livelihood Program. And we are saying let it be reviewed or even halted. Natural acknowledges loopholes in government programs designed for the youth. Solomon Kawesa, NTV.